Good morning to you all. The Monetary Board at its second Monetary Policy Review meeting held on 3rd April 2018 decided to reduce the standing lending facility rate, which is the upper bound of the policy interest rate corridor of the central bank, by 25 basis points. Therefore, the standing lending facility rate is reduced to 8.50%. The standing deposit facility rate remains at 7.25%, and the statutory reserve ratio is unchanged at 7.50%. The monetary policy decision was made taking into consider consideration current developments in the economy and foreseeable events in the future. Let me now present to you some key factors that prompted us to take this decision. Real GDP growth for 2017 was below expectations. The Sri Lankan economy grew by 3.1% in 2017 compared to 4.5% in 2016. The ag agriculture activities contracted by 0.8% affected by adverse weather conditions. Growth in industry activities at 3.9% was supported by the expansion in manufacturing, construction, and mining and quarrying activities. Service sector growth at 3.2% was driven by financial services, wholesale and retail trade, and other personal service activities. Headline inflation has declined further with the normalization of supply conditions, while core inflation has remained checked in recent months. Headline inflation based on CCPI on a year-on-year -year basis has declined to 4.2% in March 2018 from 4.5% in February. Headline inflation based on NCPI on a year-on-year -year basis has reduced to 3.2% in February 2018 from 5.4% in January. Co-inflation based on CCPI on a year-on-year -year basis has also declined to 3.4% in March from 3.5% in the previous month. And Co-inflation based on NCPI has, on a year-on-year -year basis, has also reduced to 2%. <coughs> the fall in food prices, along with the favorable base effect, would cause inflation to decelerate further. Inflation is projected to be within the targeted levels in 2018, even after accounting for the impact on inflation from possible administered price adjustments in the near term. Reflecting the impact of higher imports, the trade deficit further expanded in January 2018. Export earnings rose by 11.6% to US dollars 965 million in January 2018, driven by higher volumes and increased export prices. Tea, food, beverages, and tobacco petroleum products and rubber products contributed significantly to the increase in export earnings. Coconut, printing industry products, spices, unmanufactured tobacco exports declined. Import expenditure also increased by 12% to US dollars 2014 million in January 2018. The high dependence on thermal power along with rising fuel prices, led to an increase in fuel imports. Fertilizer, gold, vehicles, and rice imports also contributed significantly to higher import expenditure. The trade deficit consequently increased to US dollars 1,049 million in January 2018. Tourist earnings and workers' remittances however, helped offset the increase in the trade deficit. Tourist arrivals for the period up to February 2000 increased by 13.8% to 474,542. 
and tourist earnings are estimated at US dollars 880.1 million. Worker remittances up to February 2018 increased by 3.2 percent to US dollars 1,309 million. The rupee depreciated by 1.7 percent up to 4th April 2018. The real effective exchange rate indices have recorded a gradual adjustment, increasing the country's competitiveness. The central bank has purchased US dollars 403.5 million in net terms up to 3rd February, April 2018. Foreign investments in the Colombo Stock Exchange, which recorded a net inflow of US dollars 47.5 7 million by 27th March 2018, reversed to a net outflow of US dollars 6.8 million as at 3rd April 2018 due to a one off foreign sale. Foreign investments in the government securities market recorded a net outflow of US dollars 39 million up to 2nd April 2018. Grossed Gross official reserves stood at US dollars 7.9 billion as at 10 February 2018, covering 4.4 months of imports. This slide shows the fiscal performance in 2017 and the outlook for 2018. Key highlights for 2017 are a surplus in the primary account, increase in tax revenue, reduction in current expenditure, and a decline in the debt to GDP ratio. However, the budget deficit increased to 5.5% of GDP in 2017, as against a target of 4.6% due to lower than expected revenue mobilization. The growth in money supply continued to moderate, Broad money growth moderated to 16.2% in February 2018 from 16.8% in January and 16.7% in December 2017. Net credit to government increased substantially by rupees 77.2 billion during the first two months of 2018. Credit to public corporations, which declined by rupees 7.5 billion in January 2018, increased by rupees 17.1 billion in February 2018. Private sector credit growth moderated further. Private sector credit growth decelerated to 14.6% in February 2018 from 15.2% in January and 14.7% in December 2017. Credit to the private sector would increase by around 13.5% in 2018. Most market interest rates have stabilized at high levels. Yields on government securities, which displayed a sharp downward adjustment from peak levels in 2017, showed an increasing trend in 2018. An undue increase in short-term market interest rates was observed recently, requiring the central bank to take corrective operational measures. Real interest rates have increased sharply with the decline in the inflation rate, which could adversely impact investment. In summary, the views of the monetary board were favorable trends in the monetary sector and developments in inflation and the inflation outlook along with subdued economic growth, supports some relaxation of monetary policy. The narrow policy rate corridor is expected to help the central bank to maintain short-term interest rates at desirable levels with less volatility. However, risks arising from global economic developments and fiscal slippages will be closely monitored by the central bank. Thank you. Subodasana, Sri Lanka Mahabankue, Mudal Pratipati Stavare, Adadina Nivedanekala, Eanua, Sri Lanka Mahabankue, Mudalman Levis in Tirnekara, Mudal Pratipat Mudal Polyanupati Corridove, Ihela Sima, Enam, Nitya Nayapasukam Anupati Care, Padanam Manker, 
විසිපහකින් අඩු කිරීම සඳහා ඒ අනුව නව නිත්‍ය ණය පහසුකම් අනුපාතිකය 108.5ක් වශයෙන් තීරණය කොට තිබෙනවා ඒ අතරම නිත්‍ය තැන්පතු පහසුකම් අනුපාතිකය නොයනස්ව 107.5යි පහ මට්ටමෙත් ව්‍යස්ථාපිත සංචිත අනුපාතය 107.5 මට්ටමෙත් නොයනස්ව පවතිනවා මෙම මුදල් ප්‍රතිපත්ති තීරණය සඳහා පදනම් වෙච්ච සාධක මේ තුලින් ඊටම සංක්ෂිප්තව ඉදිරිපත් කරන්න බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා 2017 වසරේ ආර්ථික වර්ධනය සලකා බැලුවොත් මූර්ති ආර්ථික වර්ධනය අපේක්ෂිත මට්ටමට වඩා පහළ මට්ටමක පැවතුණා විශේෂයෙන් ශ්‍රී ලංකා ආර්ථිකය 100.3.1 කින් පමණක් වර්ධනය වුණා 2017 වර්ෂයේදී 2016 දී වාර්තා වුණු 104.5 හා සාපේක්ෂව ආංශික වශයෙන් සලකුවොත් කෘෂි කාර්මික අංශය 100.8 සංකෝචනයක් වර්තන වර්තා කරා හේතුව අයහපත් කාලගුණ තත්ත්වයේ බලපෑම ඒත් එක්කම කාර්මික අංශය 103.9ක වර්ධනයකුත් සේවා අංශය 103.2ක වර්ධනයකුත් 2017 වර්ෂයේදී වර්තා කොට තිබෙනවා මතුපිට උද්දමනය සලකා බැලුවොත් මෑත කාලයේ මෑත කාලයේදී අපි දකිනවා උද්දමනය ක්‍රමානුකූලව පහළ යන බව විශේෂයෙන් සැපයුම් අංශයේ පවතින අවහිරතා පහව යාමත් සමග මතුපිට උද්දමනය අඩු වෙලා තියෙනවා ඒ අතරම මෑත කාලයේ සලකා බැලුවොත් එහෙම ආර්ථිකයේ ඉල්ලුම් පීඩන පිළිබිඹු කරන මූලික උද්දමනයත් ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහා බැංකුව විසින් අපේක්ෂිත මට්ටමට වඩා පහලින් පැවතී තිබෙනවා ඒ අනුව උද්දමනයේ පැහැදිලි අඩුවීමක් දකින්නට පුළුවන් ඒ තෙකම ඉදිරි කාලයේදී උද්දමනය හිතකර මට්ටමක පවතින වෙතයි තවදුරටත් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා විශේෂයෙන් ආහාර මිල ගණන් තවදුරටත් අඩුවීමත් හිතකර පදනම් බලපෑමත් හේතු වෙන නුදුරු කාලයේදී කිසියම් වූ මිල සංශෝධන සිදු වුවත් පරිපාලිත මිල ගණන් වල එම බලපෑම සැලකිල්ලට ගත්තත් 2018 වසරේදී මතුපිට උද්දමනය ඉලක්කගත පරාසය පවතින වෙතයි ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහා බැංකුව අපේක්ෂා කරනවා ජනවාරි මාසයේ 2018 ජනවාරි මාසයේදී අපි දැක්කා ආනයනවල කිසියම් ඉහළ යාමක් ඒ අනුව වෙළඳ හිඟය සමස්තයක් වශයෙන් ජනවාරි මාසයේදී පුළුළු වෙලා තියෙනවා අපනයන ඉපයුම් 111.6 කින් වර්ධනය වුණා ජනවාරි මාසයේදී විශේෂයෙන් තේ ආහාර පාන ඒ වගේම දුම්කොළ ඉන්ධන අපනයනවල ඉහළ යාම හේතුවෙන් සමහර අපනයනවල පහළ යාමක් දකින්නට ලැබෙනවා විශේෂයෙන් පොල් නිෂ්පාදනාශ්‍රිත අපනයන වල අඩුවීමක් දකින්න පුළුවන්. ආනයන 112 කින් වර්ධනය වුණා ජනවාරි මාසයේදී එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් බිලියන 2 ඉක්මවා. මේ සඳහා ඉහළ ජාත්‍යන්තර ඛනිජ තෙල් මිල ගණන් වල බලපෑමත් අපි වැඩි වශයෙන් ඛනිජ තෙල් ආනය ආනයනය කිරීමත් නිසා විශේෂයෙන් විදුලි බලු උපාදන කටයුතු සඳහා අපනයන ආනයන ඉහළ යාමක් වාර්තා වුණා. ඒ අතරම පොහොර රන් රතවාහන ආනයන සහ සහල් ආනයන වලත් කිසියම් වූ ඉහළ යාමක් දකින්නට පුළුවන්. වසරේ පළවෙනි මාස දෙක සලකා බැලුවොත් එහෙම සංචාරක ඉපයීම් වල වර්ධනයක් දකින්න පුළුවන්. සංචාරක පැමිණීම් විශේෂයෙන් 113.8 කින් වර්ධනය වෙලා තියෙනවා. දල වශයෙන් හාර ලක්ෂ 74000ක් පමණ සංචාරකයෝ මේ රටට ඇවිල්ලා තියෙනවා. ඒ ඇසුරින් අපි පළවෙනි මාස දෙක තුල එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් මිලියන 880ක පමණ සංචාරක ඉපයීම් රැස් කරගෙන තියෙනවා. විදේශ සේවා නියුක්තිකයන්ගේ ප්‍රේෂණ වසරේ පළමු මාස දෙක තුල 103.2 කින් ඉහළ ගිහින් තියෙනවා. අගය වශයෙන් සැලකුවොත් එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් බිලියන 1.3ක පමණ. අපි දැක්කා වසරේ මේ තා මාස 4 සලකා බැලුවොත් විනිමය අනුපාතිකය 101.7 කින් පමණ අවප්‍රමාණය වෙලා තියෙනවා විශේෂයෙන් මූර්ත සපලදායි විනිමය අනුපාතික රටේ තරඟකාරීත්වය මනින්නා වූ එක්තරා දර්ශකයක් මෙම දර්ශක ක්‍රමානුකූලව ගැළපී රටේ තරඟකාරීත්වයේ ඉහළ යාමේ ලක්ෂණ අපට නිරීක්ෂණය කරන්න පුළුවන් වසරේ මේ තා ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහා බැංකුව විසින් දේශීය විදේශ විනිමය වෙළඳ පොළ තුලින් එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් මිලියන 
හාරසිය තුනක් පමණ මිලදී අරගෙන තියෙනවා ශුද්ධ වශයෙන් ඒත් එක්කම අපි ආයෝජන සලකා බැලුවොත් විදේශීය ආයෝජන කොටස් වෙළඳපොළ විදේශීය ආයෝජන ශුද්ධ වශයෙන් ලැබීමක් අපිට වාර්තා කළා මාර්තු මාස 27 වෙනිදා පමණ වන තෙක් එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් මිලියන 48ක් පමණ කෙසේ වත් පසුගිය දින කීපය තුල කිසියම් වූ ආයෝජන ඉවතට ඇදී යාමක් අපිට දකින්නට පුළුවන් ඒ හේතුව නිසා දැනට ශුද්ධ වශයෙන් අපි ආයෝජන ඍණාගයක් වාර්තා වෙනවා 6.8ක් පමණ මිලියන 6.8ක් පමණ ඒත් එක්කම රාජ්‍ය සුරකුම්පත් වලින සලකා බැලුවොත් එහෙම වසරේ මේ දක්වා කාලය තුල එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් මිලියන 39ක් පමණ ඉවතට ඇදී ගොස් තිබෙනවා රටේ දල නිල සංචිත ප්‍රමාණය එක්සත් ජනපද ඩොලර් බිලියන 7.9ක් පමණ වුණා පෙබරවාරි මාසයේ අවසානයේදී එය ආනයනික මාස 4.4ක් සඳහා ප්‍රමාණවත් ආර්ථිකයේ රාජ්‍ය මූල්‍යාංශය සලකා බැලුවොත් අපි දකිනවා 17 වසරේ ආර්ථික රාජ්‍ය මූල්‍යාංශය කිසියම් වූ හිතකර වර්ධනයන් ඒත් එක්කම 18 වසරේ සඳහාත් අපිට කිසියම් වූ අපේක්ෂා මේ අසුරින් ගොනු කරන්න පුළුවන් 2017 වසරේ රාජ්‍ය මූල්‍යාංශය ප්‍රධාන වර්ධනයන් ලෙස අපිට දකින්න පුළුවන් ප්‍රාථමික ගිනුමේ අතිරික්තය බදු ආදායම් ඉහළ යාම වර්තන වියදම් අඩුවීම සහ දල දේශීය නිෂ්පාදිතයේ ප්‍රතිශතයක් වශයෙන් රාජ්‍ය නයෙහි අඩුවීම කෙසේ වුවත් අපේක්ෂිත මට්ටමට වඩා ආදායම් අඩුවීම හේතුවෙන් 2017 වසරේදී අයවැය හිඟය සමස්ත අයවැය හිඟය දල දේශීය නිෂ්පාදිතයේ ප්‍රතිශතයක් ලෙස අපේක්ෂිත මට්ටම වූ 104.6 හා සාපේක්ෂව 105.5ක් දක්වා ඉහළ ගියා මූල්‍යාංශය මුදල් අංශය සලකා බැලුවොත් අපි දකිනවා ආර්ථිකයේ මුදල් සමස්තවල අඛණ්ඩ වර්ධනයේ අඛණ්ඩ මන්දගාමී වීමක් විශේෂයෙන් අපිට පෙබරවාරි මාසයේ දත්ත සලකා බැලීමේදී පෙනී යනවා පුළුල් මුදල් සැපයුම 100.12ක් පමණ වන තෙක් මන්දගාමී වෙලා තියෙනවා වර්ධනය දෙසැම්බර් මාසයේදී වාර්තා වූ 100.7ත් ජනවාරි මාසයේ වාර්තා වූ 100.8ත් හා සාපේක්ෂව රජය වෙත සපයන ලද ණය ප්‍රමාණය බැංකු අංශය විසින් සපයන ලබන ණය ප්‍රමාණය පළමු මාස දෙක තුල කිසියම් වූ ඉහළ වැඩිවීමක් වාර්තා කරනවා රුපියල් බිලියන 77ක් පමණ ඒත් එක්කම ජනවාරි මාසයේදී අපි දැක්කා රාජ්‍ය සංස්ථාවලට දුන්නු ණය ප්‍රමාණයෙහි කිසියම් අඩුවීමක් නමුත් එම ණය ප්‍රමාණයත් පෙබරවාරි මාසයේදී රුපියල් බිලියන 17 කින් පමණ ඉහළ ගොස් තිබෙනවා අපි නිරීක්ෂණය කරන ප්‍රධානම විචල්ලයක් වන පෞද්ගලික අංශයට සපයන ලබන ණය ප්‍රමාණය නැහි වර්ධනය තවදුරටත් මන්දගාමී වෙමින් පවතිනවා ඒ ඒ අනුව පෙබරවාරි මාසයේදී පෞද්ගලික අංශයට සපයන ලබන ණය ප්‍රමාණයේ වර්ධනය 114.6ක් දක්වා මන්දගාමී වුණා ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහ බැංකුව අපේක්ෂා කරනවා 2018 වසර පුරා 113.5ක පමණ වර්ධනයක් පෞද්ගලික අංශයට සපයන ලබන ණය ප්‍රමාණය වෙළඳපොළ අනුපාතික සලකා බැලුවොත් අපි දකිනවා බොහෝ වෙළඳපොළ අනුපාතික ඉහළ මට්ටම් වල ස්ථායීව ස්ථාවරව පවතිනවා විශේෂයෙන් අපි දැක්කා 2017 වසරේදී උපරිම මට්ටම් වල සිට අඩුවුණු රාජ්‍ය සුරකම්පත් මත පළදා අනුපාතික 2018 වසරේදී කිසියම් වූ ඉහළ යාමේ ප්‍රවණතාවක් පෙන්නුම් කරා එතකම මෑතකදී අපි නිරීක්ෂණය කළා කෙටි කාලීන පොලි අනුපාතික වල කිසියම් වූ ඉහළ යාමක් එම ඉහළ යාම කිසියම් වූ උච්චාවචන සහිතව අපිට දකින්නට පුළුවන් වුණා එහිදී ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහ බැංකුව නිසි මෙහිුම් ක්‍රියාමාර්ග තුලින් මැදිහත් වෙලා මෙම විචලනයන් සමනේ කිරීමට උත්සාහ කරා තවත් අප නිරීක්ෂණය කරන ප්‍රධානම දර්ශකයා උද්දමනේ අඩුවීමත් සමග මූර්ත පොලි අනුපාතික රියල් ඉන්ට්‍රස්ට් රේට්ස් ඉහළ යාමේ ප්‍රවණතාවක් දකින්න පුළුවන් ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහ බැංකුවේ විශ්වාසය අනුව මෙවැනි තත්ත්වයක් දිගින් දිගටම පැවතීම ආයෝජන මත අහිතකර බලපෑමක් ඇති කරන්නට පුළුවන් මෙම කරුණු සියල්ලම සලකා බලලා ශ්‍රී ලංකා මහ බැංකුවේ මුදල් මණ්ඩලය විශේෂයෙන් මුදල් අංශයේ පවතින හිතකර ප්‍රවණතා උද්දමනය උද්දමන අපේක්ෂා ඒ වගේම අඩු ආර්ථික වර්ධනය කියන මෙම තත්ත්වයන් සියල්ල සලකා බලලා මුදල් ප්‍රතිපත්තිය කිසියම් දුරකට ලිහිල් කිරීම අවශ්‍ය බවට කල්පනා කළා ඊයේ පැවති මුදල් මණ්ඩල රැස්වීමේදී ඒ අනුව 
अभी मुलिन संधान कर लपारी दी यह लसी माव पॉली अनुपाती कॉरिडोरे यह लसी माव पदना मांग का विसी पहागीन अडुकला मेमा डुकेरी मा मागीन पॉली अनुपाती का कॉरिडोरे परासे पटुई मार्क सिद्ध बनवा इमागीन केटिकाली ने पॉली अनुपाती का योग्य मट्टम कर अनावश्य विचलन्यान ही विचलन्यान गिन थोरव पातवा गनी मटे हकिया वाले बनुए ताई श्रीलंका महाबैंक को विश्वास करना ये आतरम गोली आर्थिक वार्धन्यान सह विशेषण राज्य मूल्यांशे अतिवीय है कि किसी आमु विचलन यानि मन तंग अपि बलापुरुत्व न मट्ट मट्ट वड़ा सिद्ध न वार्धन्यान तुलन नेतवन न पुलंग अवधाना श्रीलंका महाबैंक को विशिन समी पवई द्रिय दी अधिक्षणे करनु ऐति बोहमिस्तुति अनेवरकम खाली वड़का Nanya sabi aja nanti, niat nadi pete, aden renda wadu nanya korai thodar bana kuatatil. Ilangi matiya wangiin korai wati vidatin uccha matta mana, thunai nil khadan balanggal wasadi vidatinai. Irwate indu adi padei puli kalinal, ertu tasam aindu sada vidatitku korai padena wum. Eniya korai wati vidanggalai mata menteri adai matta til pernu wadena wum tirmani te kornadu. Inda tirmani titku mukia maha khawan ti lardka pata wadiyanggalaha. Unmai unmai mato urnatu utpati walachi vida mana tu, ini pakka pata mata tenai buda, korai wahak kana pata mai, ur mukia karena mahak kana pata tu. Anu wahai le, randa ti padina aril padiu seye pata, nala dasam aindi sada vida walachi udan opurum bodu, randa ti padina la mandil, ilangai porla dar mana tu, mund dasam unru sada vida mana, ur korai nda walachi nai padiu seyde kana pata tu. Idek mukia mahak kai tolil matum. Panikal tu rayi lana walat cikal panggali pun cahidah poli dalam. Walan me tu rayi ana tu, oru idur kaniya panggali pun ay, panangi erindad. Mudan me panawi kam tu darbana poki nai noku amaha erindal. An me kalatil, ilangai ilangai in walanggal lele pad khalil er patta walang walamik tu dalam mudal nela me in karna maha. Mudan me panawi kam ana tu, oru tu rayi ana korai pun ay, an din mudal mundu mada khalil. Kalanggalil padu sesedu, kana patadu. Adi pola, maiye panawi kemanadu, thodat ciaha, virumba pata matanggalin kulaha, thodan dum pernah pata berkenadu. Bulcian ini selalum unavu panawi kem, matum saada kemana, adi pada takam pon ravetin karena maha, panawi kemanadu korai badin ini selkenadu. Adi pola. Renda ti padina ara mandil, ed pada kudia, saatiya mana, nirwaha. Wilayah kalau terdapat pada titik tenggel kereta lokal dapat terpulih dalam, rendah itu pada nanti aman dil, panawi kemana itu, firman pada mata tenggel itu terdapat dengan makanan pada ini adalah ribut sahaja pada lalat. Walau nanti tu orang ini perut terbaru ini, adiknya mana, rakmati celavina tin karena maka, betah pada kuraya anak itu, biri pada ini makanan pada itu, rendah itu pada nanti aman dil, januari mada til. Ilangai in, satu mati berubah ikal. Rendah di padina tama antin Januari mada til padina orang tasam ar sada vidat nal walat cerdik da poli dalam. Jarak kemudi celavi nad mana de panir rend sada vidat nal walat cerdik da in karena maka. Berta berta ha perta korai ana de. Aikya Amerika dollar kal air ati na pati moon do million nal biri bade in karena perta de. Ider ke bet Thutila payani khalin verwai khal, matum tholi lalar panah anu pudal khal, pahudi alavil, panggali pu cahidu, nade murai kanak petak kure nai, pahudi alavil kurei wadaya cahidu lana. An din mudal irand khala pahudi le, thutila payani khalin verkai, padin mood dasamertu sadavida tni, sadavida walat cie nai padiu cahidu lada. Adi pola tholi lalar panah anu pudal khal, mudal mood mada khala pahudi le, mood dasam rend sadavida walat cie nai padiu cahidu lada. Ilangi ruba awin, aik ya Amerika dolar dolar kediraana, tema ini tenai kahidir wo mahai rendal. April madam naalam dikhadi alavil. Ilangi ruba awanade, aik ya Amerika dolar kediraha, ond dasam early sada vidat inal, tema ada mana inde kana patted. Adi pola, matiya wangi awanade, ulnat, balinat, chalaman chandey lirindu, mutta maha, nanu ti mund dasam aindu million aik ya Amerika dolar kalai. Pintu kalau kuri dah hari rendah tu. Ilangnya ini panggung chandey matum arsa angga penekar sandi khalil thodat ciaha. Oru idur kaniya. Adavadu aniya chalavani in vali pa chalon ru kana patat rendah tu. Inda abir ti khalil karitil kondu. Ilangnya porla daratin motta alwar sar oduk khal. Aik ya Amerika dollar khal. Ual dasam ombad billion aha. Rendah ti padina tamandin. Februari mada iridiel kana patah. 
இது இறக்குமதிகளின் நான்கு தசம் நான்கு மாத இறக்குமதிகளுக்கு போதுமானதாக காணப்பட்டது இறைத்துறையினை பொறுத்தவரையிலே ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினேழாம் ஆண்டில் சில சாதகமான விளைவுகள் பதிவு செய்யப்பட்டுள்ளன அந்த அடிப்படையிலே முதன்மை கணக்கு ஒரு மிகையினை பதிவு செய்துள்ளதுடன் வரி அரசிறையில் ஒரு அதிகரிப்பும் க நடைமுறை செலவினத்தில் ஒரு குறைவும் பதிவு செய்யப்பட்டுள்ளது இருந்தபோதிலும் வரவு செலவு திட்ட பற்றாக்குறையானது இலக்கிடப்பட்ட மட்டமான நாலு தசம் ஆறு சதவீதத்துடன் ஒப்பிடும் பொழுது ஒரு அதிகரித்த வளர்ச்சியான ஐந்து தசம் ஐந்து சதவீதத்தினை பதிவு செய்துள்ளது பண வி பண நிரம்பலின் வளர்ச்சியினை நோக்கும் பொழுது பண நிரம்பலின் வளர்ச்சியானது ஒரு மந்தமடையும் போக்கினை காட்டுகின்றது அந்த அடிப்படையிலே பிப்ரவரி மாத இறுதியில் விரிந்த பண நிரம்பலானது பதினாறு தசம் ரெண்டு சதவீதமாக காணப்பட்டது ஒப்பீட்டளவில் இது ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினேழாம் ஆண்டின் திசம் டிசம்பர் மாதத்தில் பதினாறு தசம் ஏழு சதவீதமாக காணப்பட்டது இருந்த பொழுதிலும் அரச துறை தொடர்பான கடன் வழங்கல் ஒரு அதிகரிப்பினை ரெண்டா ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினெட்டாம் ஆண்டின் முதல் இரு மாதங்களில் பதிவு செய்துள்ளது தனியார் துறைக்கான கொடுகண்ணை பொறுத்தவரையில் அது தொடர்ச்சியான ஒரு மித மிதமடைதலை பதிவு செய்துள்ளது அந்த அடிப்படையிலே ஜ பிப்ரவரி மாதம் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினெட்டாம் ஆண்டின் பிப்ரவரி மாதத்தில் பதினாலு தசம் ஆறு சதவீத வளர்ச்சியினை தனியார் துறை கடன்கள் பதிவு செய்துள்ளன அதே போல ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினாட்டு பதினெட்டாம் ஆண்டு இறுதியில் பதிமூணு தசம் ஐந்து சதவீதத்தினை தனியார் துறை கடன் வளங்கள் பதிவு செய்யும் என எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது சந்தை வட்டி வீதங்களை பொறுத்தவரையில் பெரும்பாலான சந்தை வட்டி வீதங்கள் உயர்ந்த மட்டங்களில் ஸ்திரமடைந்து காணப்பட்டதை காணக்கூடியதாக இருக்கின்றது அரச பிணையங்கள் சந்தையினை பொறுத்தவரையில் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினேழாம் ஆண்டில் அதன் உச்ச மட்டங்களில் இருந்து ஒரு வீழ்ச்சி காணப்பட்ட பொழுதிலும் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி பதினெட்டாம் ஆண்டில் அது ஒரு அதிகரித்த போக்கினை காட்டுகின்றது அதே போல குறுங்கால சந்தை வட்டி வீதங்களை நோக்கும் பொழுது ஒரு விரும்பத்தகாத அதிகரிப்பு ஒன்று அண்மையில் அவதானிக்கப்பட்டுள்ளது அதனை தீர்ப்பதற்காக மத்திய வங்கியானது ஒரு திருத்துகின்ற தொழிற்பாட்டு வழிமுறைகளை தற்பொழுது மேற்கொண்டு வருகின்றது உண்மை வட்டி வீதங்களை பொறுத்தவரையிலே வீழ்ச்சியடைந்து செல்லும் படவீக்கத்தின் காரணமாக ஒரு உயர்வான போக்கொன்று காணப்பட்டு வருகின்றது இத்தகைய அபிவிருத்திகளை கவனித்துக் கொண்ட நாணய சபையானது நாணய துறை தொடர்பான சாதகமான அபிவிருத்திகள் பணவீக்கம் மற்றும் பணவீக்க தோட்டப்பாடில் காணப்படுகின்ற சாதகமான போக்கு மற்றும் மந்தமான பொருளாதார வளர்ச்சி போன்றவை நாணய கொள்கையின் தளர்த்துதலுக்கு சாதகமாக காணப்படுவதாக கருத்தில் கொண்டுள்ளது அதே போல குறுகியடைந்து செல் குறுகிய கொள்கை வட்டி வீத வீச்சானது குறுங்கால வட்டி வீதங்களை விரும்பப்பட்ட மட்டங்களில் பேணுவதற்கு மத்திய வங்கிக்கு வழி செய்யும் எனவும் எதிர்பார்க்கப்படுகின்றது இருந்த பொழுதிலும் உலக பொருளாதார அபிவிருத்திகள் மற்றும் துறை இறைத்துறை சார் விலகல்கள் மூலம் எதிர்கொள்ளக்கூடிய இடர்மையறுப்புகள் தொடர்பாகவும் மத்திய வங்கி கவனம் செலுத்தும் நன்றி comments from you uh, i thought i'd give make a few remarks uh, to share with you some of the flavor of the discussion uh, that took place at the monetary board uh, before the board took the decision to reduce the upper bound of the policy interest rate of the standing lending facility rate by 25 basis points um now the monetary board felt it would be timely at this juncture uh, to give a signal uh, that the tightening phase of monetary policy um, should come to an end at this point uh, and that is a signal that it was uh, keen to uh, deliver uh, up to now um, as you know there's been uh, fairly long period uh, where there has been a tightening bias to monetary policy though we have seen growth come off lev desirable levels um, the central bank did maintain a tightening bias because we saw towards the last quarter of 2017 a peak in the headline inflation rate at the time we did explain that that was due to supply disruption and that monetary policy couldn't directly influence it but there was concern that the increase in headline inflation could feed through 
into um, inflation, higher inflationary expectations, wage pressure, etc. Now, since that time, uh, the situation has improved uh, quite significantly uh, in terms of prospects for inflation. Uh, the headline inflation ra rate is now within the band, the 4 to 6 percent band. Core inflation was always within the band. Uh, and we're seeing that inflation expectations are fairly firmly anchored now. And our expectation is that inflation would remain in the bottom half of the inflationary band through the rest of this year. And as you heard from the presentations, even if we, there is um, adjustments to administered prices, including the introduction of the pricing formula for fuel, we feel inflation will remain well within the um, target band of 4 to 6 percent. Uh, so inflation um, expectations uh, and the prognosis for inflation uh, during the course of the year uh, are all favorable and in favor of some loosening of monetary policy. In addition, um, broad money, my M2B, has also come down. Um, we could, we've seen a moderation. Uh, we've seen a deceleration in credit expansion to the private sector. And most of all, uh, the output gap, that is the gap between the pot potential growth rate of the economy, which in our view is about 5.7%, and the actual outcome in terms of growth for 2017 uh, increased to 2.6%. Um, another factor that the uh, Monetary Board took into account was that uh, real interest rates were increasing with inflation coming down. Uh, and that could, of course, have an adverse impact on investment and employment generation. Um, so what was left really in terms of, uh, so all the kind of boxes one needs to tick um, to um, come out in favor of some loosening of monetary policy uh, were being ticked. The one other matter which we highlighted uh, at the last monetary policy review uh, was that the monetary board was um, very vigilant about the trajectory of the fiscal performance. Um, and at the moment, uh, we see that certainly up to about 30 of June, the government should be able to maintain its uh, trajectory of fiscal outcomes that it has set out for itself, and hopefully for the rest of the year. But that is one area where clearly one would need to be very vigilant. Uh, if there is any significant slippage in the government's fiscal performance, then that changes the whole equation. But up to now, we haven't seen a significant slippage. Uh, and given all the other factors that we have identified in terms of, um, of them moving in a favorable direction, and in fact, they are improving, uh, it's in an uh, improving trajectory, um, there was a strong case for some easing of monetary policy. And I will, um, after I finish, I will get the senior deputy governor to explain to you uh, some technical issues as to how this adjustment of the upper band um, increases the capacity of the central bank to ensure that the call money rates remain within the uh, middle of the uh, uh, policy rate corridor. The one other factor one should mention, of course, is, the, is global trends. Uh, and there, um, these, this is obviously completely beyond our control. But um, I suspect at least three policy rate increases by the US Federal Reserves are probably now baked in uh, to the market. Uh, there is now, of course, discussion of a possible fourth. Um, as I said, the, that's an imponderable as to what happens to uh, global interest rates. Uh, clearly, one doesn't want 
the differential between our rates and the risk-free rate, which is basically the U.S. Uh, Treasury's rate, to get compressed too much, uh, because then what happens is there's an incentive uh, for money which is in the country to go out. So that is something we need to watch. But we have not seen, uh, you know, there's been a small outflow uh, up to now this year, despite all the political instability and the, some of the law and order problems that we've had, only about 30, I think 30 million uh, US dollars have gone out of government securities. So for the moment, we feel that situation is also broadly contained. So the two, two things that we need to watch carefully are the fiscal outcomes and what is happening globally uh, and, and whether uh, there is a, a compression in the interest rate differential between ourselves and international rates which could uh, have a disruptive uh, effect. So the, the other factor is of course oil prices. Uh, if there is a shock, that clearly again could be very disruptive, uh, particularly if one moves to a formula. Um, but the prognosis again for oil prices is for them to stabilize and gradually come down going forward. So taking all that into account, uh, the Monetary Board thought uh, there would be merit in um, signaling that uh, we are moving away from a tightening bias uh, to uh, a very cautious relaxation of monetary policy. And going for, and we wanted to be proactive. Uh, we've been saying that we needed to be proactive. Uh, it's interesting that of the 14 economists surveyed by Reuters, 12 of them said that we were going to leave the rate uh, 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 alone. Um, but we thought, you know, going through each of the indicators that I have uh, um, uh, spoken about and which my colleagues have presented on, uh, we, feel, we felt that the overall picture now uh, is such that it will be useful um, to use monetary policy to give a bit of a boost uh, to the, the growth impulses uh, in the economy. Uh, we don't think that will lead to any overheating uh, at this point, given all the other, the way the other indicators are panning out. I'll get the senior deputy governor to talk to you a little bit about the, how this is going to be used. Uh, <coughs> as the uh, governor explained, uh, the, the rationale for uh, the, the moving away from the tightening bias, uh, as I would say, this is a, we are relaxing the tightening bias we have been maintaining on, over more than two years in the past <coughs> on the basis of um, the forward-looking uh, uh, indicators and the outlooking growth and inflation. Uh, in addition to <coughs> that, what you have seen some uh, recent volatility in short-term interest rates, especially uh, in the coal rates uh, from 29th of March, uh, mainly uh, partly uh, due to uh, withdrawal of currency uh, and that has created some shortfall uh, liquidity uh, tightening in the market uh, due to festival demand for currency. That's one reason. And other one uh, was due to some uncertainty in the tax treatment on, on short-term interest rates, especially the call rates and the repo rates. So because of that, we have we had seen some uh, undue uh, uh, increase in short-term rates uh, uh, in a couple of days. and. Uh, now we have taken certain measures to bring down uh, or maintain the stability. Uh, that's a fundamental instrument uh, that we have in the monetary policy implementation. implementation is to maintain short-term rates where we would like to we would like to see uh, where it should be. That is in the middle of the policy rate corridor. Uh, so because there are uh, because of tax treatment, there are differences between coal rates and repo rates. But that has now converged uh, both uh, because of this equal tax treatment. Uh, now, the, uh, to address that, uh, this would certainly help to adjust and also we have seen the, with the more and more clarity in, in tax treatment. Now, market rates also have uh, gradually been adjusted. We, we expect this uh, distortion or, or undue volatility uh, will, will disappear within a couple of days and it's already started to adjust. And with that, uh, we sh should be able to maintain the short-term rates in the middle of the uh, policy rate corridor, which is now uh, 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 a narrower range that also would help us to maintain 
uh, much more focus short term interest rates uh, and for us to maintain a stable short term rates in line with the uh, overall multiple stance and that transition of that short term rates into market rates also uh, will take some time and would uh, help, help to stabilize all market rates sell government securities as well as the market interest by the bank so that is the expectation and and that will certainly uh, help uh, for us to maintain uh, low and stable inflation around 4 to 5 percent within next 12 to 18 months while giving some support uh, to maintain a decent a reasonable growth going forward so that's basically the the reason for, for monetary policy <coughs> uh, uh, some relaxation of uh, tightening that we have uh, introduced uh, yesterday i think and i just missed a couple of things i think uh, there are one or two kind of encouraging uh, data developments. One is the business outlook survey for the first quarter uh, has moved in a positive direction. Uh, the purchasing managers index also again uh, has improved. And I think uh, yesterday, day before, you saw the employment data. Unemployment has come down to 4% and the labor force participation rate has increased as well. So, you know, in terms of some of the um, uh, forward-looking indicators, particularly the Business Outlook Survey and the PMI, um, they are positive. And we, we are hopeful that, you know, that the 3.1 percent growth for 2017, uh, which surprised to the downside significantly, I think when I've been talking to you, I've been talking about little less than 4 percent, which was what our expectation was. I mean, the IMF expectation was 3.7 percent, the World Bank was 4.1. Economic Intelligence Unit, I think 4.2. Everybody was clustered around uh, around 4 percent, but growth did surprise to the downside. We are hopeful that it is a, a one-off uh, phenomenon uh, triggered largely by um, weather disruptions. Uh, I know agriculture is only 6 percent of GDP, but the agricultural sector uh, is linked in to both the um, industrial and uh, services sectors in various ways. So it does affect uh, production in those sectors as well. Um, so uh, we, we uh, you know, I think these forward-looking indicators in relation to the business outlook and the uh, purchasing managers index coming out positively seems to indicate that this year we should have a more favorable uh, growth outcome. Uh, I mean, there are also other trends. I mean, the fact that uh, exports were a record last year and FDI was a record last year. And if that momentum as far as those indicators are also maintained, then again, these are all uh, key elements of a narrative that would seem to indicate that the growth framework of the economy uh, is being improved. As I keep saying, you know, we should not go for um, artificially pumped up domestic demand through loose monetary policy or loose fiscal policy, which will give us a short-term boost to growth, but then again to have overheating of the economy and then you have to slam on brakes again. So what one should constantly be looking for is, is the growth framework being improved? Um, are the fundamentals being improved? And on the fiscal side, I should have mentioned, you know, the fiscal, uh, the, the overall deficit was higher than expected, largely because of drought and, and flood relief. but. The, some of the um, long-standing structural deficiencies in terms of the fiscal outcomes seem to be uh, improving. One is the primary deficit for the first time, actually not the first time, I've been saying it's the first time since 1953, but I understand in 1992 we had a very small primary surplus, a couple, a few million uh, rupees, but by and large one can say that since 1953, we have not really had a primary surplus, and for the first time last year there was a primary surplus in the budget. And this year we should have a current account surplus for the first time since 1987. So, you know, in terms of revenue, in terms of current expenditure, uh, as the presentation uh, demonstrated to you, in terms of the debt to GDP ratio, things are moving in a positive direction. So some of the fundamental problems in the economy in terms of strengthening the growth framework rather than going for artificial growth in terms of um, addressing 
the, the structural deficit, the structural problems in the budget, uh, which have been the main source of instability in the system for many years and which have made, made it very difficult for us to have strong macro fundamentals on a sustained basis. Some of these things seem to be getting addressed. So we are laying the foundation for better macroeconomic fundamentals, and I hope we are laying the foundations for a growth framework which can give us sustained uh, uh, sustained improvement in the growth performance of the economy.